Rich be a champion in life. I got a story that uh, reminds me of why I do what I do and how far the story has really reached. You know, it's quite, uh, quite wide armed. So last night I'm, I'm sitting in the bus. Uh, you know, a few kids have stopped by off and on and, and asked for shirts and wristbands and things like that and came by to meet me. But last night I had a guy show up that uh, that wanted to get a sweatshirt and meet me and. And we sat down and got to talking and, and we were telling a story and, you know, he, he goes on to tell me that, you know, three or four years ago, he was on Intermat and, and, and looking at brackets or something and, and he, uh, he saw an interview with me on Intermat with, uh, with Matt Hamilton and I was talking about my story and, and my journey and, and it was just a, just an interview. I think it was at the World, World Championships or the, the qualifier or something. And uh, and he watched it, and he was intrigued by my story, and so he started googling my name and researching, and he found the ESPN documentary and some other stuff, and he watched it, and uh, he was laying on his couch watching that ESPN documentary, and it blew his mind. And he goes, "Honey," he pulled his wife in. He says, "You got to watch this guy. You got to watch this story, man." And um, you know, the ironic part of it is he wasn't struggling with drugs, but he was struggling with some. He had the struggle in his life at the time, you know, he had been in an accident, having a hard time working, you know, having a hard time finding motivation, maybe a little depression, and, and just trying to get motivated and figure out what he was going to do, and and he told me that that story inspired him to get up off the couch and get moving, you know. If I if I can do what I did, then he can get up and, and, and find a solution and work forward, you know. And uh, so I was just just blessed that that we connected you know and he told me he's lost a whole bunch of weight he's been running and and uh, and he's just taking better care of himself and, and staying inspired and it was through um, capturing my story you know and so it's just a reminder of why it's so important that we do what we do and and it's incredible to me how far those arms have reached over the years you know it's it's much bigger than today it's much bigger than wrestling and it's just so important. And, um, you know, I just was just happy that he came to see me, man. It just helps keep me inspired to do my work and continue forward and up, you know. And, uh, you know, stay on task and stay focused on, on going out there and changing the world, man. And, and understanding that, you know, if we save one kid or get one guy to get up off the couch and change his life, you know, and his family and everybody reaps those rewards. It's a massive win. It's just a massive win, you know. So uh, anyway, man, I just uh, wanted to share that story with you guys because uh, it really it made my week, man. It just really made my week and feeling real good about what we're doing. So keep staying inspired and keep moving forward and up and know that the struggle is real out there for everybody and it looks different for different people, but we can all overcome the struggle. We can all be, continue to become better people continue to stay inspired and continue to move forward past that struggle.